This is Devin Steiner, manager of Athletic Communications. I'm joined with members of the men's golf team. On the right, we have head coach Joe Hatch. And on the left, we got sophomore from Avalon, uh, Avon Lake, Ohio, Brandon Botis. Coach, we'll start with you. Uh, what is your assessment of the team's performance through the opening two tournaments so far? You know, we've got five returning uh, players, five incoming freshmen or transfers. Um, so we're kind of split. We're kind of figuring out who we are as a team. Uh, I think we've underperformed so far. Uh, my mantra has been that we're a developing program. So it's not how we're going to start the year, it's how we're going to finish the year. Um, so we're focused on, we're doing all the right things. Uh, and pretty soon we're going to start seeing some of those, uh, our hard work and efforts pay off. And for you, this is kind of a different role for you into this season. Uh, first time being a head coach here. What have you learned so far being a head coach through actually competing as a team now? You know, it's interesting with, with each group of players, you've got to figure out how to best coach them and kind of manage their games around the golf course. Um, so I'm still learning how to help out my players as much as I can when we're competing. Uh, so that's been the most that I've realized. And then also kind of, uh, how to get the guys in the right spot going into the events. I think that uh, so far our performance is probably a reflection of me uh, not getting the guys in the spots that they need to be in, but I'm quickly starting to adapt and figure out what they need and I would expect us to do better moving forward. Are there any players to you at this moment uh, through the first two tournaments that are standing out to you performance-wise? Yeah, um, our redshirt junior Ryan Coppola has played brilliantly at uh, the start of the season. He's been really, really steady for us. Um, Ryan Tembrink has also played very solidly. He's probably played a little bit better than reflection of his scores, so we're trying to figure out uh, how he can keep his round together and shoot a little bit of a better number, but those two kind of stand out to me early on. Uh, in your upcoming tournament this weekend, you play at Wayne State, the Hawkshead Invitational. Uh, what can you tell us about the Hawkshead golf course we'll be playing? Uh, Hawkshead is typically, it's a windy golf course. Um, there's not a ton of trees. It meanders a little bit through trees in different spots, but you got to be able to control your ball flight. Uh, it's definitely, I think, uh, a ball striker's golf course. So if you hit a lot of fairways and greens, you're going to put up some good numbers out there. Um, there's a couple tricky pin locations that you got to stay away from, but for the most part, um, if you can move your golf ball around the golf course, get it in the right spots, you can put up some really good numbers there. Brandon, for you, so far you're averaging 78.58 per 18 holes. Uh, is the score an average for you above or below your expectations for this year? Uh, definitely below expectations. I've struggled a little bit through the first two events. Uh, I think there's a lot I can improve and stuff that we're doing between me and coach, and I look forward to doing better in the future. And what does the team have to do better moving forward to get kind of that lower team standings that you guys are looking for? Um, I think what Coach talked about with having a better mindset going into the events and uh, being confident in ourselves and the work that we've put in uh, will lead to better scores and events. Now in your career, not only at DU, but maybe in uh, other golf that you've played, have you ever had a hole-in-one before? Yes, I have. A uh, summer tournament a few years ago, 176 yards, I hit seven iron at uh, Windmill Lakes Golf Course back in Cleveland. Uh, it was pretty special just being in tournament and made sure I wasn't by myself because that would have been unfortunate. So that was a good moment. Yeah. Uh, and the last question for you, Brandon, what is something you do to calm yourself when playing around at golf? Uh, just normally deep breaths, just taking time, like counting to 10, uh, just slows down my heart rate, makes me just super calm and helps me focus. Yeah. And this weekend, you guys will be competing at the Wayne State Hawkshead Invitational uh, in South Haven. Best of luck and thanks for joining me, guys. Thank you. Thank you.